chunk of turf. He wants to see what's happening at the garden. Probably the same thing that was happening yesterday. <laughs> but it's still fun to look at it every day, huh? Now, my lemon boy yesterday, it got pounded down, I guess, by the rain from all those thunderstorms yesterday morning. And it was laying down yesterday. So we put this stick up because I haven't gotten my tomato cages yet for the lemon boy, Mr. Stripey, and the Cherokee purple. I gotta get those. I think it's okay. Everything else looked fine. Just this poor lemon boy. It just didn't take it well, I guess. But I think it's doing okay. Let me see if I move this stick if it seems like it's still gonna stand on its own. Yeah, I think it's standing back up today. We'll leave it on that though until I get cages. One of Daddy's bean plants is wrapping around the fence here. Makes one out of sand. I put, I made a little crack, then put it in water, then it makes slime. Sand slime? Uh huh. That's neat. And you can hold it in your other hand if you just pack it up, push it down because it's if it, you let it wait for two minutes, it's all liquidy. Oh, okay. If you let it wait for a long time, it became very weird. Yeah. It will dry up. Right, so just two minutes then. <laughs> that was two minutes. <laughs> Come on. Pizza, grilled cheese sandwiches is what's for lunch today, y'all. Pizza ones or I have some four cheese Mexican blend left over. So if we had some avocado to put on those. That would be really good. You want a pizza one or a regular one? Pizza one. Okay. Okay. It's just me, mainly Cece and Jonah here. So we just need four. For the pizza ones, I'm going to use pepper jack and some pepperoni. Garlic bread is really good with a pizza grilled cheese. Like if you have that garlic toast, you know. I almost made some garlic butter to put on this bread to make it like garlic toast, but I didn't. Oh wait, there's only one pepperoni left in there. You're going somewhere. Yes, you are there too, but y'all are both going somewhere. There you go, there you go. We'll do Fiesta ones next time and get some avocado because that would be really good to put a little slice of avocado on there. Oh, I gotta go get my spatula. Gotta hurry. Oh, we got time. We'll stay over there. We still got a little while. They're not ready yet. I'm gonna try to scooch that cheese up onto the bread. That'll just give it a little bit of crusty goodness. It's a pretty day, y'all. Definitely feeling that summertime. Still got a little while, though, until the first actual day of summer, but we're in summer mode already.
All right, y'all, it's a few hours later now. It's 4.30. Me and Cece are here at Aldi. I wanna see if they have this one Aldi find that they had this weekend. It's the last day of this week's Aldi find, so they might not have any more, but it's this bag that I see them a lot in the mountains and the Smokies and all. I don't really see them too much around here, and I can't even remember what they're called at the moment. I'll pop it up on the screen. But they're super cute, but very expensive. Aldi has some this week, and of course, theirs are not expensive, like those name, whatever the brand is of those other ones. So I'm hoping they still have one in here. I don't know how big it is, though. They're getting everything set up to start putting out the Aldi finds for tomorrow, so there's not much over here. They have this metal table and chair set, but the prices aren't out yet. I'm pretty sure this is the new stuff for next, for, you know, for tomorrow. They have some little swimming pools, $29.99. Slip and slide, $19.99. Oh, those are some pretty bright colored shoes there. $12.99. Hey, these are marked down to $3.19. Beach hats for $4.99. I definitely missed the totes there are none here but they have these giant balls for $9.99 I guess all the tote bags were sold out what is this oh that's a hammock for $49.99 the loan is lava spin different colors jump along color tiles to reach safety and get the opportunity to drench their opponents with water balloons oh okay sounds fun roasted sweet corn flavored popcorn snyder's honey mustard and onion pieces I think we got these did anybody ever try them they might be buried in the bottom of the cabinet. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we got them. Hey, dark chocolate covered freeze dried strawberries and dark chocolate covered freeze dried bananas. We got lemons the other day at Ingles, but we need some oranges. We'll go with these navel oranges here. I really like the Cara Cara, but turns out I'm the only one who likes it. <laughs> the kids and Titus like navel oranges better. And we need some bananas. Strawberries are only $1.99, but they're out right here. They have some over here, though. Smoked pulled pork pizza. Ultimate meat. Blueberries. They have some already sliced up mango. That's a pretty good deal, actually. Georgia fuzzies. I'm not sure that I've ever seen these here at Aldi before. They look amazing. Cinnamon rolls. They also have cheese danish. Strawberry cheese danish. Triple chocolate cakes. What kind of bagels do we want this time? Okay. <laughs> Tortilla chips now with a hint of lime. That's new. Zesty flavor. They have some new cookie thins. Key lime and lemon. I think we'll try some key lime ones. The black labels are the new items. There's something new here, but it's not here. Summer almond flour cookies. Cheese is 175. I'm gonna get some sliced pepper jack for sub knot. Watermelon and peach. Watermelon Greek yogurt. The last time we came, we got one of these mocha cookie crumble things here. We tried it. Mocha cookie crumble. Five ounces of water or milk into the blender. We're gonna go with milk. Now we put this whole pack, right? And add entire pack, yes. Okay. Now we put a cup and a half of ice and blend until smooth. It tastes very close to Starbucks mocha cookie crumble frappuccino. This time we're gonna try the caramel crunch and the java chip and I think Cece also grabbed another mocha cookie crumble. They have these no-bake jello cheesecake kits. That's new and still the strawberry and blueberry pie filling. This is one of the things that we've gotten from Aldi that we didn't love is their marshmallows so we skipped those. I got some jet puff. Do they have hot sausage? Not this time. Johnny Pops and ice cream filled cupcakes. That's fun. They have the Pretzilla hamburger buns. Oh, what are those? Stromboli, pepperoni and cheese. They have little wraps now. Italian wraps, turkey club wraps. How much are they? $4.69. It's kind of small. Biscuit crust, breakfast pizza. Might be good.
no bags at Aldi, like hardly anything y'all saw. We went at the wrong time. It was the transition time. They're taking everything down from this past week and putting out the new Aldi finds. We did get a little sneak peek of the Aldi finds, but I really couldn't tell what it was. So they blocked the aisle off so you can't go down the aisle anymore. I should have went last week for that bag, but what happened was I looked the week before at the upcoming Aldi finds and that's when I saw that it was on there and I forgot about it until yesterday and they closed early yesterday because it was Memorial Day. So yeah, missed that Aldi find. That's what makes Aldi finds fun. It's like a treasure hunt. You hope your Aldi's gonna have it. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. They may have never even had them, I don't know. Most of the time though, ours has all the Aldi finds that they advertise, most of the time. There have been a few things they didn't get. Anyway, I'll show y'all what we did get. Uh, lots of produce, some of our Aldi favorites, and a few new things. We got some mini cucumbers, tomatoes. I got these mango slices because like one mango, I can't remember for sure how much one mango was, but there's a pretty good bit of mango in there for just a little over $4. So I just got those mango slices. We got some blackberries, blueberries, two pounds of strawberries, oranges, carrots, honey crisp apples, peaches. It's time y'all. It's time to start the homemade ice cream making. Summer break is here. Peach, I'm pretty sure, will be the first one we make this year. We got some bananas. Then Aldi favorites, of course. We love these chocolatey bliss. Chocolatey? Did I leave out the tea? Anyway, we love these chocolate pastry crisps and the chewy dipped peanut butter granola bars. We got these cheese stuffed breadsticks. I don't think we've tried these before. I got this blueberry pie filling. I saw a recipe last week that needed pie filling, so we're gonna give that a try sometime. I got pepper jack cheese slices. We're gonna have a sub night, just like a little sub buffet. So I got that for that night. And then I did stock up on some more cheese because it was only $1.75. I got two mild cheddar, two mozzarella, and one sharp cheddar. I got this pulled rotisserie chicken to make chicken salad sandwiches one day for lunch. Some sausage, ham steak. I got that to make either with some omelets or something for breakfast one day this week. We got two of these uh, Chobani watermelon Greek yogurts and one of the mango to try. These were new, at least we'd never seen them before. Mama Cozy's Stromboli. I got a pepperoni and cheese one and a three meat and cheese. Uh, I thought Jacob and Tyler might wanna try those. And I got this biscuit crust breakfast pizza to try one morning. It looks good with that coffee beside it. These, I was telling y'all about them in the store. We tried the mocha cookie crumble one and like I told y'all there, it tastes almost identical to Starbucks mocha cookie crumble frappuccino. So we also got the Java chip one to try this time and the caramel crunch. I think I remember one of y'all telling me that this one was really good when we showed it to y'all in the store last time. Got some cinnamon rolls back there and two cans of biscuits because I think I told y'all in the store Tyler's been asking for some of the little chocolate hand pies that we make and we use those for that. Got some of this spicy cheddar popcorn, dark chocolate covered strawberries. We already taste tested those. They're pretty good. The strawberries are, you know how when you freeze dry strawberries, they get really tart instead of sweet. They're a really, really tart strawberry, but they're good. These strawberry yogurt covered pretzels are wonderful. We'll definitely get those again. And the key lime cookie thins, Titus tried these. He's not in here right now, so I'll try one real quick. Uh, you know what? It seems like we may have tried these before, but it said they were new. But I think I remember trying these. They're little bitty thin cookies, and they're wholesome and crunchy. Yeah, they're really good. We haven't tried these yet, a vanilla spritz shortbread cookie. And I got some of the Snyder's honey mustard and onion pieces, baked barbecue chips, marshmallows, tortillas, and we got some of the patriotic frosted sugar cookies, Deli rolls for the sub night, bagels, and bread. We already put these in the freezer, but we got some fudge bars and some of the mango creamy fruit bars to try and some of these lime frozen fruit bars. And that's it. I've learned my lesson. Don't go on a Tuesday evening looking for Aldi finds, at least at our Aldi, because you're not gonna find anything because <laughs> the new finds start on Wednesday, so they start clearing everything out. Garden. Yeah. That's great. I'm thinking of salad. Oh.